Ms. Lipovets, thank you very much for being here. My first question is, both the major military presence and the Kinderberg organization will be withdrawing over the next several years from Afghanistan. What will be the effect of these withdrawals on the future of health initiatives in the country? And what do you see as the essential steps to take with Afghanistan moving forward? We always implemented projects according to the national government plan. So this was not a private initiative. All our efforts have been to support the Afghan state. And once we withdraw, they will take it over. The only problem is how they will finance it. And this is really um, an important question for the international community to support Afghanistan. The organization focuses on the health of women and children, and yet the local st stakeholders you work with are always male. How do you work with men in order to help women? Afghan men need help, need medical help for their women and children because uh, Afghan has uh, one of the world's highest mother and child mortality morbidity rates, which means that Afghan men have faced how women die during delivery and their children, and there is no Afghan who likes to see that. So this is the reason why we can work together. We have a common goal. The Afghan men and me, we have the same goal, that women and children survive in Afghanistan. It's not a problem. Why is it important to have a demarcation between civil and military efforts in Afghanistan? Why can't a soldier, for example, help carry humanitarian materials? Where's the harm in that? First of all, they are not professionals. I'm working now for 20 years in the humanitarian aid and in the transition phase, and soldiers have no clue and no idea about uh, this kind of work. It's the same with me. If, I, if they would give me the key for their tank, I couldn't drive a tank, and I should better not do that. So the clear demarcation is to show that we are both professionals and they're both working in their own here uh, in their competence and uh, we should do a very good job both of us but it's a complete different different thing I'm not a military not at all and they are not civilians and they cannot do a good humanitarian they cannot provide good humanitarian work not at all every quick impact project is just to show that you can help somebody for a short time but if you don't show up a second and a third time, you should have better not been there at all. In the last 10 years, or more than 10 years, working together with the German army, I have seen only a cooperation in the field of logistics. This means that they can transport our material from Germany to Afghanistan, sometimes, or I can even fly with them to Afghanistan. And in security, if it is really heavy and uh, difficult, dangerous outside, um, and I'm not anymore allowed and able to live amongst the Afghans, I'm hiding in the German camp, in the PRT. And uh, in so the logistics, yes, uh, this is the, in the last 10 years, this was the best uh, cooperation there. Security for the Afghans and for my staff and uh, medical cooperation. If they don't have to treat uh, German soldiers, wounded German soldiers, if they have a free capacity to treat my patients, which cannot be treated in an Afghan hospital, they do that. So this is the only um, point of contact for us, point of cooperation. There is no other. I don't see any other. Ms. Lipovac, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.